Hey everyone, Ashley Bernardi here, CEO of Nardi Media. And, um, you know, it's a tough year, isn't it? We're in an election year and the news is changing every single day. Um, I keep saying, like, has anyone taken a pulse on the newsrooms right now? Like, my producer friends and journalist friends, like, we're thinking about you here at Nardi. Um, I'm also thinking about, I found myself as like a CEO and mom just thinking about how divided our country is right now and um, how we can reach across the aisles and spark uh, and ignite positive conversations within our communities and beyond. And one way that I recommend doing this is through our Be Heard framework. So the Be Heard framework is um, a framework that I had come up with within my Nardi Media Academy and in my media training that I teach people um, how they can own their message and also share it in a way that inspires others so that you're actually heard. So be heard. First, believe in yourself and the power of your voice. And this oftentimes requires you to really get quiet and figuring out what is it? What are my beliefs? What do I want to say? Where is this inner voice coming from? It is a lot of inner work. I'm not going to lie. Like some may call it woo woo, but it, it this is this is truly your, your authenticity and your essence. So first, you got to believe in yourself. Next, empower your inner voice in order to ignite your outer voice. You've got to empower that inner voice. So this could be through acts of journaling, getting quiet and meditation. Next, Next is hone your message. Figure out what you want to say. I always say it's great if you can write it down in bullet points first, but next you need to also speak it out loud. So we'll get there. Also, E, evaluate your audience. Who do you want to share your message to? Is it your community? Is it colleagues? Is it family members? What is it that you really want to say? Who is it that you're speaking to? Evaluate who you're speaking to. Next, this is so important. Don't skip this step. Articulate by practicing out loud. The way that we write and the way that we speak are two very, very different things. And if you've only written down your message and what you want to say, you've only done half the work. You've got to practice it. Practice your message and what you want to say in the conversation out loud before you actually have that conversation. Next is repeat. So while you are having the conversation or practicing for it, repeat your message. Repetition is the key to retention. So the more you can repeat your main points, the more likely you are to be remembered and understood. And finally, after you've gone through this framework, D, deliver your message to the world and make a bigger impact and you'll be able to shift the consciousness of the planet. I truly believe by following this framework, you will ignite and inspire positive conversations, um, especially in our political climate and beyond. The other thing I want to say is um, use po po positive language. So um, it, it, Negative language such as no, I don't know, I can't, I won't, I shouldn't, that can open the door for negative follow-up questions and also um, you're more, less likely to be understood. If you can think of replacing negative language with positive language saying, well, I'm really motivated by or my work has demonstrated that, I'm excited about this, you are more likely to be understood, relatable, and remembered. So practice the Be Heard framework. I want to hear how it goes for you. Uh, I'm thinking of everyone. Um, I know, you know, it's such, it's a, it's a time of division, but I also also think it's a time for us as a humanity to truly come together, listen to each other, but also an opportunity to be heard. All right, everyone, would love to hear from you. Drop a link in the com a note in the comments. You can follow us on social or visit us at nardimedia.com. We'd love to hear from you.